If you haven't done so yet, pause the video and try to answer this question on your own first before listening on. In order to find the mass percent of calcium carbonate in the mixture, we would have to take the mass of calcium carbonate and then divide it by the total mass. And then once we would have that result, we would simply multiply by 100. Now, that's the basic definition for the percent by mass, but we don't know either the total mass or the mass of calcium carbonate, and that's what makes this question rather challenging. What we're going to do is assume that the total mass is 100 grams. Now, if the total mass is 100 grams and 61.9% is carbonate by mass, then we know that the mass of carbonate must equal 61.9 grams. So that's another of our known values. What we do not know is the mass of the calcium carbonate nor the mass of the ammonium carbonate. And what we'll, what we'll do is let x equal the mass of the calcium carbonate and y equal the mass of the ammonium carbonate. And since the total mass is 100 grams, we could write this equation, x plus y must equal 100. And so this first equation, we can call that the mass equation, since every value, x, y, and 100, represents a mass in grams. What we're going to do is also develop a moles equation. And on the right-hand side of this equation, we're going to figure out the moles of the carbonate. And that's a simple conversion. We know the mass is 61.9 grams. And using our periodic table, we could look up the molar mass of carbonate. And it turns out that one mole of carbonate would be equal to about 60 grams. And so if we set up this conversion, the grams are going to cancel. And we can multiply this out. And when we do that, we should get about 1.032. Remember, this is the number of moles of carbonate. And what we're going to do is express the moles of carbonate that are coming from the calcium carbonate as well as the ammonium carbonate. And before we do that, we might want to remind ourselves that moles is simply equal to a mass divided by a molar mass. And this is going to be a handy equation for us. So let's go to the moles of carbonate that are coming from this compound right here, the calcium carbonate. We know that the mass is x. So we're going to have x. And then we're going to divide by the molar mass of calcium carbonate, which you could look up on the periodic table. That turns out to be 100. And so this expression right here would give us technically the moles of calcium carbonate. But since every mole of calcium carbonate contains a mole of carbonate, this also gives us the moles of carbonate. And that's the moles of carbonate coming from this compound here. We'll set up a similar expression for the moles of carbonate coming from this compound. We know the mass of that compound is y. And then we're going to divide it by the molar mass of that compound, which turns out to be approximately 96. And technically, this expression gives us the moles of ammonium carbonate. But if we look at that formula carefully, we can see that one mole of the entire compound also produces one mole of carbonate. It's another one to one ratio. And so actually the expression also gives us the moles of carbonate that are coming from that compound right there. So the, again, the moles of carbonate contributed by the first compound plus the moles of carbonate contributed by the second compound is going to equal the total moles of carbonate that are present in this mixture. We now have ourselves an algebra problem. And what we're going to do is take the first equation and solve it for the variable y. And to do that, we're going to subtract x from both sides of that equation. And so we could then see that y is equal to 100 minus x. We'll take that expression for y and we will plug it in for y in our second equation. And we now have ourselves a little algebra problem. And one way of solving this would be to find a common denominator. And the easiest way to do that is to just to multiply all the denominators together. Now, if we did that, we can see the common denominator is 9,600. And so what we need to do is multiply this one by 96 in both the bottom and the top of the fraction. We need to multiply this denominator by 100, again, both in the bottom and the top. 
And then over here, we have to multiply by the full 9600. Now, in this numerator, what we have to do is distribute that 100. And then we also multiplied the 1.032 by 9600. Now, once we have the common denominator, we can actually cross it off. We could then combine the like terms, 96x minus 100x will be negative 4x. And then we can subtract the 10,000 over to the right-hand side. And we get about negative 96. Finally, we can divide both sides of the equation by negative 4. And when we do that, we get 24. And that's going to be the answer for x. And we recall that x was the grams of calcium carbonate. And that's what we had originally sought in our expression for the percent by mass. So we can take the mass of calcium carbonate that we just figured out, divide by the total mass, which again we assumed was 100 grams, and then multiply by 100%. And when we do that, we get 24% by mass of calcium carbonate.